What's up everybody, it's your boy Jay Moss and today's video I'm going to show you the Canva background remover tool, okay? So I'm a huge, huge fan of Canva. Um, just so you know before you, you start watching this, you have to have the pro account. You cannot do this in the free account, um, but it, it's very cheap. I think the pro account's like 10 bucks a month or something like that. Okay, it, it's $13 a month. Not a big difference, um, but it's well, well worth it. Um, I use Canva all the time because I used to outsource all of my um, Photoshop needs or even if I just had to make a small graphic or something like this, lay some text over a picture, have a background removed. I didn't know how to do it. I could not figure out Photoshop for the life of me. Um, my wife finally introduced me to Canva and now I just do everything in Canva. It is so easy. Um, so yeah, so here's how the background removal works. And if guys, you like this video, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. You will like this. I guarantee it. This is awesome. So check this out. So I'm inside my Canva account and all I'm going to do is create a design here. And we're going to go with start with image. Okay. And the thing I love about this is um, I'm going to show you here in a second while I grab a photo here. So I'll show you here in a second. Um, I outsourced a couple pictures for a guy on Fiverr to do. Um, and then I'll show you the same exact photo in Canva. Okay. And it's, it's a pretty big difference. All right. So here's the photo that I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So once you select it, it's gonna bring it here in this pop-up window that it's just uploading it. And the tools for it are very, very straightforward, just like anything else in Canva. I'm gonna edit this image. You could also use uh, using a design. I mean, it's gonna pop you in the same spot here. So once it loads here, all it is is a couple clicks. You don't have to draw an outline like you do in Photoshop. You don't have to do any of that crazy stuff. This is all automation, one click, okay? So I'm gonna click here on the picture, so I select it, and then we're gonna hit Effects. All right, and it's right here at the top, just Background Remover Tool. And remember, this is for pro accounts only. If you do not have a pro account, or if you're not signed in, you're not gonna see this option, all right? So click on Background Remover, and instantly it starts doing its thing. It literally takes just a couple seconds. And how it knows what to get rid of, I don't exactly know. It's just very, very smart, all right? So there it is. All the background is removed. Um, and as you can see, if, if you remember, there was like three layers. There was two screens behind me, there was a desk behind me, there was a wall behind me. It figured all of that out and it only left me in here. And this, this right here is the chair that I was sitting in. So everything is good to go, all right? So, and you can tell if I zoom in here, even around my hair, all right? And around my arms and stuff, you can't see that background that was there. Okay, uh, for instance, let's, uh, let's remove this from the background. Okay, so I've detached it from the background and let's just crop this in real quick just to make it easier to play with. All right, and let's put on a black background so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, now I'll make this big all right, and we can uh, zoom in a little bit. And you can see, now that we have a black background, it is cut extremely tight, even with the hair, okay? Now my hair isn't sticking out or anything like that, so it doesn't make it terribly difficult, but you can see just a touch, just a touch of green in here uh, with that background that was behind me, but I'm zoomed in so much, this picture looks amazing for what it is um, for an automated tool um, there is nothing out there like this um, now there are some online services that claim to do stuff like this there's one um, I forget what it's called 
but they do a pretty good job, but they don't give you high def. You have to start paying uh, for the high def images. Um, as you can see, this is a, 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 f a 4,032 pixel uh, image. I mean, this is a super duper high def image. Um, all those online tools, they only give you like 720p. So, you know, pretty much garbage if you want to do anything quality with them. So, as, a, as you can see, this is awesome. You can do whatever you want with it at this point. But let me show you um, a side-by-side -side between the Fiverr guy and what Canva did. So this is a side-by-side, -side, all right? Now, this over here on the left-hand side is Fiverr, okay? Um, some guy I hired on Fiverr, he had thousands and thousands of reviews. All he did was remove background of images. And as you can see, we are zoomed in here quite a bit, but you'll notice you can see a lot of green, okay? And when this is on a black background, it really looks bad. Um, so there's a lot of green in here. Now over here on the right-hand side, this is Canva. This is the same exact image, and this is an automated tool. And you'll see there is no green whatsoever. There's no, uh, like no green fuzz around the ear like you see here. Um, it's just cut extremely tight and it looks awesome. Um, so no more outsour outsourcing to Fiverr, spending money. I can just use my Canva account. You can see it a lot on the elbow there, all that green. Um, I had an issue, I was trying to make a, a lead magnet, a PDF, and I threw this picture on a black background and it you had this green outline and it just looked funny. Um, so I'm gonna do everything with Canva now. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. It's very, very simple. Um, I'll leave a link for Canva down below, um, but you can just go to the website as well. It's just canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Once again, you do need a pro account for this, but I highly recommend it if you do anything with these kind of pictures, if you're already outsourcing a lot of your stuff like this, you can do it all within Canva. You don't have to learn Photoshop. This is completely noob friendly. I love Canva. So yeah, if you got some value out of this video, uh, once again, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I do videos like this all the time. I would love it if you were a subscriber. Um, leave a comment below if you like as well. I would really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but I will see you guys in the next video.